I welcome all of you for MSU videos. It's time to learn. So we are discussing about 2D geometric transformation. So in the last session, we discussed about how to perform translation. So already we know that what is meant by a transformation? Changing any object's orientation, size or shape is defined as a transformation. So translation, scaling, rotation are basic transformations. Reflection, sharing is advanced transformation. Now we are going to discuss about a rotation. Already we know that what is meant by a translation. A translation is changing the position of an object in a straight line path. A rotation is also a kind of translation. But the difference is changing the position of an object along a circular path. That's what we are saying as a rotation. Let's derive a formula for rotation. To perform rotation, we need rotation angle theta and then we need the pivot point xr, yr. This pivot point is optional. If you not provided this pivot point, then we are going to perform rotation with respect to rg, that is 0, 0. So let's continue. A point x, y rotated and now the point located at x dash, y dash. Initially, the point is making angle phi with the x-axis. So it is located at x, y. So this distance, it is x and this distance is y. After performing rotation, the new location of the point is x dash, y dash. Now it is making an angle phi plus theta with the x-axis. So this distance x dash and this distance is y dash. And hypothesis value is same for both the points, it is r. Before performing rotation, cos phi, what is cos phi? Actually, we know what is cos. Cos is actually the next side divided by hypothesis. So the next side is it is x and hypothesis is r. So cos phi equal to x by r. Now we will rewrite this equation x equal to r cos phi. So we are naming this equation as number 1. And sin phi is opposite side divided by hypothesis. Opposite side is it is y and this is r so y equal to r sin phi it is the equation number two after performing rotation this x dash comma y dash is making the angle phi plus theta so cos phi plus theta equal to x dash divided by r and x dash equal to r cos phi plus theta and sin phi plus theta equal to y dash divided by r and y dash equal to r sin phi plus theta. So already we know what is cos a plus b, cos a cos b minus sin a sin b, and sin a plus b, cos a sin b plus sin a cos b. So we are going to apply these cos a plus b and sin a plus b formula in equation number 3 and 4. So it will become x dash equal to r cos phi cos theta minus r sin phi sin theta. And y dash equal to r cos phi sin theta plus r sin phi cos theta. So we are going to substitute the equation 1 and 2 in 5 and 6. Equation 1 and 2 is x equal to r cos phi, y equal to r sin phi. So let's substitute x dash equal to x cos theta minus y sin theta and y dash equal to x sin theta plus y cos theta. So this is a formula to perform a rotation. A point which is located at x comma y, the new value of that x value is identified by using this formula x dash equal to x cos theta minus y sin theta. The new value of y, y dash is identified by using x sin theta plus y cos theta. So p dash equal to r into p. So normally transformations are represented by using matrix representation. The new value of that point p dash e is equivalent to r into p rotation matrix. So if you want to perform an anti-clockwise rotation, we will use theta. So this is the formula to perform the rotation. So x dash y dash equal to matrix of cos theta minus sin theta, sin theta cos theta into x y. So if you want to perform in a clockwise rotation, then you use it is minus theta. So x dash y dash equal to cos of minus theta minus sin of minus theta, sin of minus theta, cos of minus theta. So already we know that cos of minus theta is cos theta and sin of minus theta is minus sin theta. So this is a new formula. So it is cos theta, sin theta, minus sin theta and then cos theta. Normally, uh, to perform rotation, we will use this anti-clockwise rotation 
in a problem if it is mentioned it as clockwise rotation use a negative angle that's the difference between these two values so we'll discuss an example for that perform a rotation for the point located at 2 comma 1 with the theta 90 degree so we know that p of x comma y is 2 comma 1 theta equal to 90 degree and this is the original location of the point a point is located at 2 comma 1 now there is no pivot point is given so we are going to perform the rotation with respect to this origin with respect to this origin this point will be rotated with the angle 90 degree so we know p dash equal to r into p so this is the formula to perform the rotation so cos 90 minus sin 90 sin 90 into cos 90 into 2 into 1 so we know that cos 90 is 0 sin 90 is 1 so we are multiplying so the result value is minus 1 comma 2 initially the point is located at 2 comma 1 after rotation now the point is located at minus 1 comma 2 and here you see so with respect to this origin this point is located so this angle is actually we are saying as a 90 degree that is this angle p dash to origin and origin to this p this angle we are saying as a 90 degree let us discuss another one example perform a rotation for the line 1 comma 1 to 5 comma 5 a line is given so we want to consider the interval as 1 after that p1 equal to 1 comma 1 p2 is 2 comma 2 p3 is 3 comma 3 p4 is 4 comma 4 and p5 is 5 comma 5 theta is 9th degree which is given so we know the formula to perform the rotation and this is the line original line p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 and we will use directly apply this formula and we will get the result and here I am applying identifying new value of P1. Initially P1 is located at 1 comma 1. So P1 dash is minus 1 comma 1. So similarly minus 2 comma 2, minus 3 comma 3, minus 4 comma 4 and minus 5 comma 5. And now here you see this is a rotator line. Initially line is placed here and now after the rotation line is placed here. So the angle between these two part is defined as a 90 degree. That's what we are saying as a rotation. Now, if you want to perform rotation about a pivot point, with respect to any one of the point, we want to perform the rotation. Now, this is XR comma YR, we are saying as a pivot point, we are performing the same rotation with respect to this point. So, this actually this location we are saying as a X dash minus XR, this distance. This is X dash minus, this whole distance is X dash and this particular distance is X dash minus XR and this value is x dash minus x r and this distance is we are going to say it is a y minus y r and this distance is y dash minus y r the same we are going to use that like before rotation what is cos phi and cos phi is equal to the next side so next side is x minus x r this whole value this whole value divided by r so i am rewriting this equation x minus x r equal to r cos phi and sin phi is opposite side and here the opposite side is y minus y r and divided by r so y minus y r equal to r sin phi and after rotation it will make an angle theta plus phi so cos phi plus theta equal to x dash minus x r divided by r i am rewriting this equation and sin phi plus theta equal to y dash minus y r divided by y dash minus y r divided by r i am rewriting this equation also so already we know that what is cos a plus b and sin a plus b so apply we are applying apply 3 and 4 x minus x r equal to r cos phi cos theta minus r sin phi sin theta y minus y r equal to r cos phi sin theta plus r sin phi cos theta so we are going to substitute in 5 so we know that what is r cos phi it is x minus x r and r sin phi is y minus y r and then we are getting a new formula for identifying x dash and similarly we are identifying new formula for identifying y dash so equation number 7 and 8 indicating the rotation about a pivot point so x dash equal to xr plus x minus xr cos theta minus y minus y r sin theta and y dash equal to y r plus x minus xr sin theta plus y minus y r cos theta we will discuss another one example with respect to pivot point perform rotation for the point 2 comma 1 with the theta 90 degree and pivot point 1 comma 1 and solution is 
now the pivot point is given xr equal to 1 and yr is equal to 1 and theta equal to 90 degree and we know this formula xr x dash comma y dash initially a point is located at 2 comma 1 now with respect to this point we want to perform rotation so this green color point we are saying as a pivot point and now x dash equal to 1 and y dash equal to 2 now here you see with respect to initially a point is located at 2 comma 1 with respect to this point now this point is located rotated so that's what we are saying as a pivot point rotation so already we discussed the same problem in a normal uh, normal rotation at that time we got the value as minus 1 comma 2 so with respect to origin it is rotated now with respect to this 1 comma 1 it is rotated that's the difference between rotation with respect to origin and rotation with respect to the pivot point so that's all about rotation thank you for watching keep on visiting my channel thank you